Uh, g'day viewers and welcome along to Freedom Web Design. I'm going to show you how to build a, a free Word, WordPress website. And so I'm here on my tablet as you can see and if you haven't got a WordPress set up a WordPress account. I've already typed that in there. Oops went backwards when I thought the keyboard was on. So set yourself up a WordPress account. You're going to have to give them your email address and that sort of thing. Doesn't cost anything. There we go. Create a WordPress account. Just go in there. <clears throat> Bit of slow internet today. And because I am already See, it just automatically logged me on, but it's not going to do it for you. You're going to have to um, register with WordPress and just set yourself up a, a WordPress account, just the same as you would a, a Gmail account or any other account on the internet. So, um, anyway, when you get in here, this says Reader, um, so it'll show you all sorts of feed coming from WordPress, a bit like if you're on Instagram or something like that. Um, you can go to My Sites. I don't know whether that'll show my sites on your format, but you'll have to find your way to it. And, and of course, I've got more than I've already got sites on here. Uh, I'm going to hit the switch site because I've got a few, so it may come up uh, with just. And you might not be able to see it on the bottom of the screen here. I've got add site, so I've got a few sites here, but down the bottom, right down the bottom here, I've got add new site. Wait for that to load. Um, it hasn't worked. Okay. Just the way I did it. <clears throat> Add new site. Here we go. Add a new site. Um, so we can create a, a new WordPress website can create add an existing WordPress site with Jetpack um, that'll plug in and connect your site to WordPress so if you already have a, a site up and running you can do that but for now we're just going to do the start now with the free website what's it about okay you might have a mechanic shop it might be Bill's Mechanical there we go Bill's Mechanical It'll be about mechanics. Mechanic, that'll do. Mechanical repairs, whatever you like. Just for today, we'll just do mechanics. And we've got, as you can see here, we've got share ideas, experiences, updates, reviews. We've got all these tabs. I just clicked a lot. Yep, we want to offer everything. We want to do everything. It doesn't matter if you don't do it all. Uh, but I want straight away want that ability now a keyword for your site um, for your domain name so you want it to be about Bill's Mechanical go ahead and type in Bill's Mechanical maybe and there we go Bill's Mechanical dot blog now the thing here is we've got Bill's Mechanical um, dot WordPress dot com. Now that's always going to be the free one. I think I've just inadvertently clicked on it. What I do want to explain: <coughs> Bill's Mechanical dot blog. You can go dot com. Change it down here. Okay, Bill's Mechanical dot com. Look at that. That's fantastic. That's pretty much what you want, .net or .org, but anyway, for the free one. So if we, if we want build accounts, well, billsmechanical.com, we can select that one, um, and that's going to cost, say, $30 or something like that. Um, but let's select it and see what it costs. See how much that, well, you know, then you've just got to select a, a plan. So we have $5 a month, which is $60 a year, $10 a month, $120 a year, or $33 is 
nearly $400 a year. Um, and we're not going to do that. We're going to go back and do the Bills Mechanical dot WordPress free one just for today and you can upgrade later on take the WordPress out so we'll select the free one adds there we go start with free start with free almost ready WordPress is fantastic like this there we go Bill's mechanical dot WordPress dot com and now we've got our site but it's just a basic very basic, it'll ask for cookies, yes, close and accept. Now, this doesn't look like a mechanic shop. At the moment, it's got the one blog post, one post, and it's a, the journey begins. Um, so that we're really, this is a simple website, so we just want home contact, blog, or we want, we can add pages to it, uh, and make, um, you know, what we do, or how long we've been going, or about us, or contact details, which you do want contact details, so you add pages. Um, but for home, we, we, we want to take away that that journey begins. That's actually a post. Welcome to my site. So you'd need to uh, um, edit this, and you can down the bottom of the screen. You can't see it, but down here, right down there, uh, is customize, edit, and statistics shows up so you can go click on that little bar down the right hand side that you can't actually see on this video uh, just the way it comes up but then, then I can I can go back and click my sites and I'm on Bill's Mechanical and now we've got the um, so so the first place I want to go is blog posts just to delete that one and I'll click on blog posts and internet's none published no drafts the journey begins so I'm just going to delete that I'm going to just go ahead and delete that there we go put it in the trash no posts found we can view the site just to have a look now I do that sometimes here we go, we've got Bill's Mechanical and a menu. Still a static front page. Now we've just got to make this uh, front page look good. I've clicked on the menu to see what's in there. And nothing much happening. So, now let's go to manage the site and personalize the site, customize the site. And I always forget We've got our themes, we're going to leave the theme the same, but I'll show you anyway. We have custom themes. On WordPress, and even the free ones have got several custom themes. Try not to make this video too long. Here we are, we've got an automatic um, customizing tabs here. And they drop down to side identity, colors and backgrounds headers that sort of thing now there is widgets are going to be the advertising things down the sides I think we'll just check these just go through it okay I don't like the, the logo that's flowers that should be for a nursery or something so and and normally uh, with a paid one you can go change logo um, or you can take your own photo download it onto your device and change the logo and put a you know picture of Bill standing there next to his car but today we're just going to remove that and I'll push publish up the top just to change it and make sure it's saved right uh, colors and backgrounds well you're not going to don't no need to change that at the start palettes that's that that little black line around the edge of the of the website is all you're talking about here uh, you can also pick your own color. We're just going to leave all that. No need to get down in the weeds with that sort of stuff. Fonts, the same thing. We've got different fonts. Header image. Let's have a look at he header image. No header image. Okay, so we've got a selection of header images. Um, if we can see anything that's already... Like, to do with mechanics, you could put that on there. We do really don't have anything on this one. 
we can find. I've pushed randomize suggested headers, see what comes up. No. And I might just take that away. Let's see if I can stop that. Hide image. No image. Leave it like that. That's where you take your own photo, put it up there for the web image. Header image, there's menus. Well, that's the menu there. And we might look on, on the menu and see. No, that's only creating a new menu. We only want one menu. Golly gosh. Content options. Let's have a look at that. I just go through because I can't always remember. Full post. Yep, that's okay. That's just tick boxes for a. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play with that. Reload the site. Let's go back off. Have I gone too back too far? No. Loading the customizer. It's just taking a little bit of time. We're on the road traveling at the moment and don't have super fast internet. Let's wait for it to load itself up. Okay. Restore the auto save. Sometimes it's uh, you end up on a different page and it's, it says you've got a more recent one, so I'll just yeah, update that. Well, it's a bit quicker this morning. Okay. Okay. Still customizing. I'm just going to check the other things because this customizing you can do quite a lot in the first few minutes of building your website. Okay header image, menus, content options, widgets, let's check the widgets. Okay, you've got sidebar, what's in the sidebar? Search, that's okay, leave it like that. The sidebar's got the search in it, and you have footers down the bottom, they'll have different things in them, maybe they're preset, footer one, add a widget. So you can add a widget down the bottom that says my latest posts or things like that if you like. Um, so when you when you click on add a widget, just for the exa example, yeah, internet's quite slow. So you've got the um, Akasmet widget, display the number of spam archives you can uh, monthly archive of your posts if you're going to put posts on there blogs you follow blog stats calendar so you can put that all as a widget any any one of those displays a list of recent posts from other wordpress um, or jetpack enabled blog so that's quite handy so you can you can add a post or, or a, you know recent Flickr photo down the bottom of the page of the website and i'm not going to do anything like that and get back out of widgets home page settings let's have a look see if there's anything it's a static page see here it says uh, your latest post or a static page maker at a static page and we are on wordpress.com not .org uh, ladies and gentlemen this is the paid one or how to make a free one on the paid one home page post page blog that's okay Let's go back out of that. Featured content. Don't think there's much to. That just shows it on the front page. I'm not going to do anything you've put up there. So I'm not going to do that. Theme options. Lots of different themes.
different features, page two, page three. Testimonials, so that you can put testimonials in there. Um, so let's go back and close out of that. I think we've done enough on that one. How does our site look? It still looks to fairly, fairly well the same. So you have your pages. You go up here and check pages. Excuse me now. Pages. We have the home, which is the front page it says here. And the contact. So let's go ahead and have a look at home and edit it. This is your home page, it's the landing page, it's where everyone's going to land on when they Google uh, Bill's Mechanical or Mechanic Near Me or something like that. And so you can call it home. Or you can change the name of it, the actual home page. And here, see here, you can have visual or HTML. There's sometimes the visual is best if you're putting a YouTube video straight onto it. Um, you can, I'll change the name of home, and we'll call the home page Bill's Mechanical. This is just personal preference and uh, part of the creation process. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can call it Purple Pumpkins if you like. It doesn't matter. could do with a purple pumpkin right now here we go welcome to my site um, so in here you're going to type you know I'm really good uh, come and see me we've been you know going for 25 years and looking after everybody and there's only ever been three or four cars blow up rah rah and here you can add you can add media so if you have photos already um, in your computer you can go to add media Media from Google, sometimes it will find media in Google if you want to find photos. Free photo library. Now, I think with the free version it won't work. So, we'll search for car. There's a car. Let's have a look. There's a, there's a car. Now, a car with a pretty lady in front of it is usually... Um, something you can use but anyway oh look there's some more there let's take that off and we'll look for a nice photo of a car let's have the uh, Mercedes insert the Mercedes there we go Bill's Mechanical. Now I find that I can't write on t above it. I'm going like that and it won't let me. So change over to HTML. You're not going to lose this. You're going to make it so that you can write on, under it uh, or, or push the um, shift and make it move down. So here it is now in writing. And I can click on it over here and then hit the button and move it down a little bit. Then I can, you know, welcome to Bill's Mechanical. I've lost what I'm doing. I am doing this on a tablet. keyboard has to keep showing up like that so and you write your little blurb in there and then I push update push update it's updating okay then you can visit the page and check it I'm not going to visit the page and check it just now I'm going to check the preview
when you're putting a video on, you can copy the, a vi YouTube video straight off, copy the link, uh, but when you paste it into that page, make sure it's on visual so it shows up as a, as a nice big thumb tag. Here we go. Bill's mechanical, like I said, there can be a photo in this area, but Bill's mechanical instead of home page. Bill's mechanical. Welcome to Bill's mechanical. There's the thing, and you can have a little write up there, and you can have a video in there that if you long as you're, uh, and then the contact details. So now I can actually just. I'm not at the site. I'm I'm in the. Uh, I can push on. Just click on the contact details there, and start writing contact details. Well, there, there's a contact form that the customer can fill out, but you can also should be able to go down the bottom here and find edit. Right, okay. Contact. Now we can take that photo out. Or like we were in visual. And we're not, we're in, so I can. start writing above that phone number there are double four seven eight oh nine eight oh eight that's fine etc etc email address you can put all that and update that and we'll turn it to visual <clears throat> whoops okay went back too far doesn't matter site pages, front page, let's have a look at Bill's Mechanical, don't worry about yep, that, go back to visual, update sitting there looking at me so I'll update it anyway let's visit page just go and have a look here's Bill's mechanical welcome to Bill's mechanical and we have contact details there we go contact there's the phone number all the other details you want to put in there and now the blog who knows what's going to have on the blog nothing found so that's where you can say Here's the job we did last week, rebuild a Chevy or something like that. Uh, you can do that and you can also just add uh, more to more and more to it. So let's stop that. So there you have it. Basically, you've got your basic website. Um, if that's as far as you want to go, like I said, if you want to put a YouTube video on it, where are we? Are we on Bill's Mechanical? Bill's Mechanical. Okay. Bill's Mechanical.wordpress. Front page. So you can start adding pages. edit now you can go to YouTube close it all go to YouTube
and <clears throat> motor rebuild here we go how to tear down a Chevy 350 small block engine 23 minutes that'll do 900,000 9,000 views now these guys aren't going to mind if you if you copy and paste their video onto your front page at all okay now share just push share copy link let's go back and find Bill's mechanical front page we've got to have it on visual not HTML and let's have a look it's a little bit more difficult with the tablet than normal I think we'll go there actually take that back and we can where do we want the video we want it underneath we could put it underneath but we're going to have to change it to, to HTML because I cannot just for a second now I'll show you what I've done I've put the little cursor down under there under there and now I want to change it to visual mm, it's not gonna let me it's not gonna let me okay Okay, let's go up here on visual. And I'm going to go ahead on visual and just paste the YouTube video. Paste. Now this should come up as a thumbnail. There we go. First thing they see. Welcome to Bill's Mechanical, blah, 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 blah. And we just have to update that. Update. So straight away at Bill's Mechanical, you've got an informative video on how to tear down an engine. If you really want that sort of thing on there, otherwise you can, you can just put your contact details straight on the front page and say, give us a call. If you're in a, you know, really a lot of people when they search on the internet, <coughs> Sometimes they will check you out thoroughly and see, you know, photos or things of you actually doing work. You can take videos at work and, and take photos at work and show you, and that's what most people would do with a website. But the, most people searching, they just want to find you. They just they, they just want the best mechanic for the best money or whatever it is. Uh, they're not interested in hanging around on your website all day. Uh, they just want to want to, your contact details. Um, but a couple of videos and pictures work doesn't hurt to promote yourself and say we're professional and that sort of thing. I don't want to carry on too long, so we've made it. Let's visit the page and have a look. I and mean, this is this is how uh, how I do it really is just to keep checking uh, and build it from there. So there you go. Welcome to Bill's Mechanical. There's the YouTube video. You click on the YouTube video, it should work. Are we on this? We're not really on the side it'll but it'll work anyway there we go got no sound for this one so you might have to check that don't know what happened 
that we've got no sound on that one so I'll make sure that it's got sound but it, oh well it'll have sound I've just got the um, Thing that we've yet there to touch go. is the heart of it all. Now, our show is called Motors after all, so it's about time we start working on one of these I things. Got the now, we picked up this old Chevy 350 small block V8 engine online for under a hundred bucks. A great thing. So I just unplugged the microphone, plugged it back in. So anyway, so that's how you do it basically. You can just keep adding things and you, you might have to, uh, you know, go back and forth a bit. I'll just get out of that. Um, and it's automatically pretty much going to save it if you try and get out of it without saving it. So um, you can build your own website from there. You can upgrade it. But but that's that's the basic gist of how to do it. Um, if you want to do it for yourself, make your own website. Um, I hope this video helped you out. If you need any more help, uh, just send us an email or give us a call and I can uh, try to walk you through it. Otherwise, you can get one, get me to build one for you for a very reasonable price. Thanks for watching, guys.